I'm taking my shot at Bullseye. What's up guys, Joe Momentum Works. So here we are today. I have the Bullseye TCT Turbo and I have a Borg Runner 171702 Box Turbo. Uh, we're gonna talk about the similarities and differences, talk about the different kinds of Bullseye Turbos that are out there. And guys, this is gonna be specific for my diesel customers. So if you landed on this video and you're interested in Bullseye for a Pro Mon car or some sort of race car application, feel free to keep watching, but a lot of this is probably not gonna be applicable to you because the way the Bullseye is building turbos for the diesel customers is a little different than what they do for the rest of their clientele. So let's take a deeper dive in here. Check it out. All right, guys, so when we're talking about Bullseye, it's important to know what series of turbo we're talking about. Right now, Bullseye's got four main series. They have their street billet, they have their BMW, they have the TCT, and the NLX. So everything except for the NLX is just a regular journal bearing turbo, guys. So first and foremost, their street billet. Uh, that's just a turbo that's got a billet wheel and one of the race covers. BMW, that series has a Batmo wheel, BMW, and the race cover. Uh, that one you can also get with their optional billet cartridge and back plate. Uh, the next one is a TCT, triple compressor technology. Uh, same thing, it's their wheel, their compressor cover, and then you can get it with their billet back plate and billet cartridge. And the last one is the NLX, which comes with all the features and benefits, and it's ball bearing, and you can get it with a tunable race cover. Now, as far as for diesel applications, and guys, like I said, uh, we're basically, this video is going to talk about your diesel truck applications, because that's what we normally do turbos for. So if you're looking for race car applications, a lot of this is applicable, but a lot of it's not. So what we have here is their TCT, which is what Bullseye recommends for the over-road truck diesel applications, uh, your working trucks, that kind of thing. Um, and the way they sell it, it is not with their billet backplate or with their billet CHRA. It uses all the bore warner components. So the only thing that's really different is the compressor wheel and the compressor cover. Let's take a deeper dive and take a look at what exactly you're getting with the TCT Turbo. So like I said, we have a box S400 Borg Warner Turbo, a 171702, and we have the TCT with a 76 millimeter wheel from Bullseye, which will be the closest to the 75 millimeter in the S475. And like I said, guys, other than the wheel, compressor wheel and the cover, these turbos are identical. They're using the same CHRA, um, well, they're same bearing housing, not the same CHRA. Back plates are identical, bearing housings are identical, turbine housings are identical. Uh, Bullseye does allow you different variants. Turbine wheels, identical. You can see that the Bullseye still has the paint markings on it from balancing with Borg Werner. Um, so you're really kind of getting the same thing, Bullseye versus Borg Werner, when it's for a truck application. And like I said, when it's for the race car application, you get the built back plate and everything like that. But um, I talked to Bullseye about it, and they said the only real difference there is weight. And guys, when we're talking about 80,000-pound gross vehicle weight trucks, you know, saving a couple pounds at the turbocharger is really not going to be a benefit. And like I said, they don't do it for the truck applications because they said the heat kind of distorts them as well. So I do want to touch on some of the common misconceptions. A lot of people think that all of the Bullseye stuff is ball bearing. And like I said, it's not. It's only the NLX series which is ball bearing. And Bullseye doesn't recommend you use that on a working truck. Um, I'm going to pull up a Bullseye ball bearing NLX turbo so we can take a look. And for race applications, even race diesel applications, this will be a great turbo for you guys. But for my over-the-road truck customers, it's not advised by Bullseye to use ball bearing turbos from them on an over-the-road truck. Let's take a look at the NLX ball bearing turbo. So here's the NLX. This is the ball bearing offering from Bullseye. And you can see it's got a real nice spin to it. It's got their own custom proprietary wheel, which is different from their TCT, their street build, and everything like that. Uh, this one has their tunable race cover, which allows you to adjust the map width. Uh, this year, you'll also get a good look at the uh, billet housing. I'm sorry, the billet bearing housing and the billet back plate that Bullseye has. Um, the advantage here is weight. It's lighter than the cast iron. But like I said, for all your over-the-road truck applications, you're going to be using the factory cast iron bearing housing because of the heat and things like that that distort it. So the billet stuff looks really cool and it's lightweight, but that is the only benefit that Bullseye says that it's providing. So for the truck applications, you are going to be receiving the um, cast iron billet bearing housing and back plates. So this really begs to answer the question, 
what are you really getting with a bullseye charger? You're not getting the billet black plate. You're not getting the billet bearing housing. I mean, you're getting a Borg Warner wheel and shaft. You're getting a Borg Warner turbine housing. So what is really the benefit of the bullseye that you're getting for all this extra money? I wanted to find out. So like I said, we called bullseye, ring a ding ding. Hello bullseye. Yes. Send me a pallet of turbos. And we sent them out to some customers and we did some tests. I was skeptical at first, but we sent it on a local customer here on the East Coast. He did some tractor pulling. He did some regular daily working. He did a lot of hard pulls. And the results were great. All in all, he's seen better peak boost and he's seen quicker spool up and that has to just be attributed to the TCT design wheel because we took off the same exact Borg Warner. Uh, we took off an 8132 Borg Warner. We replaced it with an 8132 TCT, and they were the differences he saw. He, you know, it was better drivability, better peak boost, and quicker spool up. Now there was a lot of cost difference between the Borg Warner and between the Bullseye, but if you're looking for the absolute best in performance in this frame and size turbo. Uh, you know, there is a benefit to going with the bullseye design. You are going to get, you know, a little bit of better performance, but you have to weigh out if it's worth the additional cost to you. Now, as far as it goes for ordering a bullseye turbo, uh, we're now stocking bullseye distributor, and we'll offer these alongside with our current, you know, own production turbos and our Warner turbos. Bullseye is a little different in the fact that, you know, if you're not buying something off the shelf, you can get it customized to your spec. And what I mean there is that with Borg Warner, you know, a box S400 turbo, you get a box S400 turbo, and it is probably about a quarter of the price as a bullseye unit. But with a bullseye, there's a lot of things you can specify. Uh, for a non-diesel application, of course, you can get the billet backplate and the billet bearing housing, and they look really neat, and they will save a little bit of pounds off the turbo. Um, but things is like an S410 bearing housing versus the S400. If you have a Caterpillar, you're going to want the S410 because it's a longer bearing housing to line up with your oil drain. If you use the S400 bearing housing, you're going to have to modify your oil drain because that sits up a little bit tighter in the turbo. Um, otherwise, the only thing different there is going to be your bearing spacing. Um, and then the turbine housing. You can order it with a 145, a 132, a 115. Uh, you could also switch away from the T6. You could do a V-band style connection. Uh, so basically, Borg Warner, I'm sorry, Bullseye offers a lot of different options you could do with the turbos as far as for your specific setup but for majority of the guys watching this video for you know commercial truck application you're going to want a t6 uh, but you might want to switch out for a 145 or a 132 or a 158 and bullseye does all that at no additional cost the cost is the cost for the series of turbo and that compressor wheel size no matter what options you pick after that so that is a nice add-on all right, guys, just to recap on everything we touched on today, we looked at the Borg Warner S400 box turbo, the 171702. We looked at the TCT series from Bullseye in a 76 millimeter, and we looked at the NLX in an 80 millimeter from Bullseye. Can't use a ball bearing turbo on an over the road application. So, for most of you guys, this 80 millimeter is out unless you're using it in a race application. The TCT is going to be your option from Bullseye because it does flow better than the BMW and the street billet. You know, that's from Bullseye. And you're not going to get it with the billet backplate or the billet cartridge because the cast iron just seems to hold up better with the heat cycles on the over-the-road applications. All these TCT are a journal bearing turbo, just like Borg Warner. Uh, like I said, the only difference is really in the compressor wheel and the compressor cover and then the aerodynamic nut, of course. Um, in our testing, the TCT did outperform the Borg Warner. Um, like I said, there was a little bit better peak boost and there was a little bit better response there, quicker spool up. So if you're really looking for the best of the best, it's worth considering the TCT 
Uh, but you know, the boar worner is always going to be one of our favorites. It's been a tried and true methodology, but everyone has different wants and needs. And that's why there's all different kinds of turbos out there to fit exactly what you're going for. Guys, if you have any questions, give us a shout. We have all this stuff in stock, the ball bearing stuff, the bullseye stuff, of course, the board runner stuff, and then our own cuts of turbo as well. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching the video. Looking to hear from you soon. Take care. What? Put the turbos in front of you like tits. My twin turbos, twin titties. Can you see it? No. Right. I'm trying to look. <laughs>